and welcome back to the Blue Star Channel. Today I am back with another Sports Hub series episode. It's episode number 60 and today I'm going to be going to another high school football game and this time I am going to San Mateo as I'm going to be going to Sarah High School to watch Sarah Padres take on El Grove's Thunder Herds. Now, this is a bit of an unusual day to go to a high school football game because it is a Saturday and usually high school football games happen on Friday and it's also a day game and usually high school football game happens at a night game and this is also a game where it is a non-division game so both of these teams are actually not in the same division and also both of these teams are actually nowhere near each other as Elk Groves is actually based in the Sacramento region and Sarah as I said before they are based in San Mateo so there's like about a hundred mile difference between both of the high school which is kind of very unusual for two high schools to be so far apart and they play a high school football game but yeah still we're gonna hopefully expect a very good game in this one Let's go American football! So I just arrived at Sarah High School and I think as you can see in the distance those upright that is where the stadium is going to be at. So there is the stadium behind this gate and there are the players doing their pre-game warm-up and I'm actually going to be going to here because I think this is where the ticket office is. So there's my ticket for today's match and there of course as I said before the players are warming up. I think these are the Elf Groves player. And over there, there are the Sarah player wearing their home blue. And also, there is the stand right there. And this is a bit of an unusual home stand because it's kind of elevated and it's pretty high up. So just a little bit more information about this game. Both of these teams actually lost their first game of the season. And this is the second game of the season for both of these teams. But Sarah Padres will definitely be the favorites coming into this one because they actually are ranked 16th in the state. And Elk Grove is actually ranked around the 190. So there's like almost 170 places between both of these schools in the state's rankings. But you never know. We have seen before where teams that is now the triple digit of the state rankings pull a big upset against one of the top 25 teams but we'll see how this game is gonna go and like I said the game kicks off in about 25 minutes tell you what you got to give a lot of credit to the Elk Grove away supporters who actually turn out in great numbers in the away stands considering the fact this is no short trip for them to come down here almost 110 miles to drive south to get here to San Mateo. So now both teams are heading to midfield as they're getting ready for point toss of this game. For the white hat dude, the Padres won the toss. Oh, here oh, comes the players oh, entering the field. Sarah High School. As Elk Grove will get the ball first here. And there's going to be a flag here, and I think it might be blocking the back. Yep, indeed, it is going to be blocking the back. And of course, put under and hurts around the 10 yard line, I think. Fourth down, and it looks like Elk Grove is going to try for a field goal here. And the field goal is good. Despite the fact the Padres haven't been on offense, they actually lead it now 
seven three here with three minutes and 17 seconds left here in the first quarter. First down here. Let's see how Provo responds here. Nice little move there and it's pretty good game there for the Thundering Birds as right here in the field. I think that might be the final play. Here we go, here we go, Five, four, three, two, one second of this game, and that is the end of the first quarter. And at the end of the first quarter, it's the Padres that takes the lead. She leads it 7-3 over Elbro under Hurts. Oh, he might go into the end zone here, and he is going to go into the end zone for a touchdown. And El Grove retake the lead here. There's a little run on the outside there. He finds a gap in that Padres defense, and El Grove, for the first time today, gets into the end zone and they retake the lead. There's the PAT, and the PAT is good here. So El Grove retake the lead here in the second quarter their second drive of the game resort in a touchdown and they lead it 10-7 in this game. Another screen pass here and nice little move by that player and he's running down the field here to the 30 yard area and he's going to be stopped there at the 30 yard line as a big game there by the Padres offense. The fourth and three coming up for the Padres. And you're trying to convert this short yard situation and the pass is incomplete and they don't convert on fourth down and turn the ball over here. The traveling supporter fans are making noise again. They're gonna be going for it here. Or are they? Let's see. Yep, they're going for it here. Fourth down coming up. the handoff here and he is going to be stuffed at the backfield and the Padres return the flavor there as their defense forced El Grove to turn the ball over on downs as that, that running back is stopped in the backfield and the Padres will take it over here and it's intercepted and this could be a pick six here and is that going to be a touchdown? It's going to be very close. And it is going to be a touchdown there. Very hard to tell because that 10 actually was kind of shook that view. But it is going to be a touchdown for the Padres. And the Padres retake the lead here thanks to a pick six. And the kick is... No good here as it's going to be wide right. As it is still going to be a field goal game here in this game. Going to hand off again and the ball is out. And it's going to be Sarah's ball here. As the ball was fumbled here and for the second straight possession in a row, El Grove turned the ball over. Sarah's going to have the ball right about the 37 yard line. And he's flush, flush again, the quarterback, and going to the end zone here. And it is complete, and it is a touchdown for the Padres. And they now take a 10 point lead here as they lead to 20 to 10. And the fans go nuts again here in the home set. Point is good. It is now 20 to 10 here. And indeed, they're going to just do that. And that is halftime here at Sierra High School. As the Padres lead to 20 to 10. Over the visitor, Elk Grove, Thundering Hurts. So it's halftime here at Sierra High School and Sierra Padres actually leads it 20 to 10 over Elk Grove's Thundering Hurts. And despite the fact that 
El Grove had majority of the ball here in the first half, especially on offense. Sierra has forced two turnover off of El Grove and got 13 points out of that. They also had a kickoff return for a touchdown in the first quarter. So, yeah, we're going to see how this second quarter is going to go. Will Sarah run away with this game and get more points to potentially pull away in this one? Or will the visitor, El Grove, could potentially come back into this game and make this game very interesting? But yeah, the second half is going to be starting in just a bit. So the Sarah player are now back onto the pitch. Looks like the El Grove players are still having their team talk over there. And by the way, I'm now into the traveling supporter section. Yeah, we should be ready to begin this second half in just a bit. And the second half is underway here. Yeah, I did. I, I said that. Padres will get the ball here first here in the second half as they return this kickoff, return again, and it could potentially return the kickoff again as he is down the sideline and he's going to be into the end zone for a touchdown. And for the second time today, the Sierra Padres returns a kickoff. It is now 26 to 10 as the fans in the homestand goes wild again. And the extra point is good. And it is now 27 to 10 in this game in favor of the Padres. Read option again, and he fumbled the read option, and that's going to be a turnover, and Padres is going to take advantage of that turnover as they're going to score another touchdown in quick succession. It is now 33 to 10. And the extra point was good there. As it is now 34 to 10, Padres as with two quick touchdown here. They are running away with this one. I want to run free. Second down. is definitely not looking good as there's an ambulance right there. It looks like one of the players that is laying on a medical bench. Cody flag down on the play pass was incomplete. Brought into the stretcher and I just hope he's, a, he's okay and definitely wish him a speedy recovery. Well the Padres just score another touchdown after a 60 yard yard run as that player was able to run on the outside to get it into the end zone and which I couldn't didn't capture that on film but Padres now leads it 40 to 10 with an extra point coming up and the extra point is good and it is now 41 to 10 in favor of the Padres win of this year unless it was a broken complete a miraculous comeback as they're down 41 to 10 right now as they head into the fourth quarter. Comes out Grove and he breaks a couple of tackle and he's gonna be into the end zone for a touchdown here. And the funding herds are not done yet here as they get six points here. And now they are down by 34 here. Here comes the point after touchdown. And the cake is good. And it is now 41 17. So the pressure again is going to throw a little screen pass. And he's got blockers in front. Can he go all the way? And the ball is out. And 
looks like it's gonna be a turnover for Sarah as that player went out of bounds. Mason just lost the ball and the first time tonight the Padres turned the ball over and it's gonna be first and 10 for the Hurts here. And he's under a lot of pressure. He's gonna actually run for a first down. He could get more as looked like he was gonna get sacked there, but he's able to escape the pressure and in the end he gets a pretty good gain out of that. Oh, and he's into the open field. And he's gonna be drank out right about Chase down by number seven. It's going to be a first and ten. Right now for Thunderbirds. Oh, and the ball is out. Let's see who's going to get this one. So there's a power right there, and the Padres is going to reclaim this. So. After the Padres turned the ball over at the 10-yard line, El Grove basically did the same thing. So they turned the ball over inside the 10-yard line, and Padres will take over deep in El Grove territory with one point in this game. And I think that should be the final play of this game as Final score in this game, the Sarah Padres with a win as they get their first win of the season. They win it 41-17 over El Grove, Hungry Hearts. Players are heading down to midfield, shaking their each other's hands. So it's all finished here at Sarah High School as the Sarah Padres with a 41 to 17 win over Elk Grove. And overall, the story of this game was pretty much defense and also special team. There was a lot of turnovers.